Chi's annual South African Women in Science Awards. And uh, this discussion, of course, will bring some of those winners to the fore. So let's cross over to Leanne to find out who some of those winners are whom she'll be speaking to. Leanne? Sakina, thank you very, very much. And a very good morning once again from Polokwane this morning. And I must say, it was a fantastic event last night. And I love what the viewers are saying about homework. And perhaps we can share that with some of our panelists here, because uh, these are academics. These are women that have succeeded and uh, have done exceptionally well in their respective fields. And I know you're asking that question, what is homework like? Is it too much or too little? And should they be given to our children and to our students? Well, uh, we'll hopefully get some of those questions as well to our panelists and find out what they think about that. So here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to, well, you know the minister. So of course, we've got our minister seated right next to me, the Minister of Science and Technology, Mamaloko Kubai and Gubane. It's so nice to see you. Good morning. Did you yeah. enjoy last night? It was your I first did. time as science minister at these awards. Yes. Wasn't it inspiring? It was actually a quite lovely event. And seeing all these awards that were taking place, but just celebrating women that are doing very well, excellent women in the field of science. Yeah. You know, I know com mm. coming into a portfolio, you, you see different aspects and you, mm. you obviously want to make it your own and change things and, and uh, you know, see where you can make your mark. But mm. this particular award ceremony, uh, how do you feel about it? I know, I know it's been around for a long time, since 2003. Is this something you want to see grow? Is it something you would like to perhaps add different things into? It's something that I want to see grow. Um, they, there's a saying that if it ain't broken, why fix it? So we shouldn't every time when we get to portfolios want to fix what is not broken. Yeah. So I think the Women in Science Awards are a brilliant initiative. It's a brilliant initiative. It's something that has been going very well and, and it has played a very critical role. I would want to see the awards growing and even beyond. I mean, we were discussing at SADC level to be able to see how we take awards beyond just South Africa, but having some of the people who compete in our countries to compete at regional level. So we're hoping as we go and establish this, um, the SADC Awards would have our nominees or our finalists being able to compete in the region so that we can be able to say we've got our best amongst yeah, yeah. the rest. And I mean, I, I don't know if, if you sometimes getting incredibly inspired and amazed as I do because you know whenever I see the winners whenever I hear what they're doing I, I just I take a back seat and I think I I didn't know this and it's wrong it's wrong that we as South Africans don't know this and don't celebrate our achievements and how well we are doing in the fields of science and I'm sure coming into this portfolio you also sort of had that sense I hope um, coming to the portfolio Lian, um, one I must say it was my eyes were quite opened a lot because from a distance, you see this portfolio a bit smaller. But when you get in, you see quite a vast, yeah. um, a lot of things that are happening. But not only happening, but going well. Um, in terms of us globally competing very well, excellently, you know. And, and coming to the issue that you're talking about, about that we, we don't know much. But I think we tend to be too much negative as South Africans. Yeah, yeah. And in that, we tend to sort of have a blind eye was very excellent things that are happening, very good things that are happening. And I think one of the ways of just uplifting this is around this awards, around discussing and showcasing what South Africans are doing. Yeah. Not only, and, and not to be done by somebody else. And I think the ladies would be happy, and I mean, where they're sitting, to know that it is South African government, it is their own government, Indeed. that is saying you're doing well in your field of study or in your field of work, and therefore we are recognizing you. But not only recognizing you, we're providing some little incentives exactly. to say. And rewarding you, know, you which keep, is important. Keep it up. Keep it up and, and, and keep that great work. Let me move on to some of my panelists now, because I want to speak to um, Suisse's adjudicator, uh, Malebo Tebani, because this is not an easy job. How, firstly, I, I, I want to ask you about the kind of entrants that come in. How high is the standard? Thank you, Lien. Um, the standard is very high because uh, we get application uh, with high uh, standard uh, of scientific merit. And again, we have a lot of researchers who are supervising PhD students and master students to completion. And again, 
they are looking at a way of filing their patents. So the standard is very much high. Yeah. Uh, have you done this for a few years, being on the panel? I, I've done it for three years. So are you noticing that the standard is getting higher? It is getting higher, so it is, it is becoming very difficult to pick winners out of the best researchers. And more entrants, because this is what is important. Are we seeing more and more people and women moving into the field of sciences? Yes, because all the provinces are now represented. We get uh, applications from the institutions of higher learning from all the different provinces. Yeah, yes. that is that that in itself is an inspiring story because oh. I, I'm going to break for the news headlines now. When we come back, I've got three of the winners in their respective categories seated here. But I thought it was important just to get a little bit of background about the importance of the awards and, of course, the level that we're finding women in sciences, the the kinds of entries and how it's just getting higher and higher. But we've got the winners here. We're going to talk to them. I'm not going to make this a scientific discussion because I know nothing about science. Believe me, I study drama and journalism. So we're not going into the sciences, but we, we're certainly going to be inspired by these women during the show. SK, let's get those headlines and then back to us for the rest of the discussion.